50-ton rigs requires engines with as much as 250 horsepower. But to stop them safely takes 15,000 horsepower brakes. That calls for real stopping power. The modern heavy-duty brake is a far cry from early efforts to stop vehicles. At first, automobiles had brakes only on the rear wheels, since it was believed that front-wheel brakes would throw the vehicle into a skid. Others had brake bands around the flywheel or on the prop shaft. But as vehicle weights and speeds increased, front-wheel brakes not only appeared on the scene, but took on more and more of the load, until today, they do about two-thirds of the work of stopping the car. Elaborate rod linkages have given way to cable actuation, only to be replaced by four-wheel hydraulic brakes. On heavy-duty vehicles, air brakes long since have taken over the field, while vacuum power assists passenger car brakes. key to the whole braking process. Friction materials had to keep pace with these developments. For in the final analysis, it is the brake lining that determines stopping power. In order to stop any vehicle, all the kinetic energy of its forward movement, all of its momentum, must be converted into heat. The enormous heat which must be dissipated in stopping a loaded rig from high speeds is the subject of continuing engineering research in World Bestest Laboratories. How fast this heat is dissipated is a measure of the power of a braking system. Since braking surfaces reach temperatures of more than a thousand degrees, actually red hot, brake lining obviously must be made of a heat resistant material. More important, it must maintain a satisfactory working friction over a wide range of temperature and moisture conditions. In addition, it must have a long life. It must perform with a minimum of wear. Finally, the lining must be soft enough, gentle enough, that it will not score the brake drum. This is the problem of the brake lining manufacturer. Its solution is the subject of this film. To resist heat and provide body structure, about half of a typical brake lining compound is asbestos fiber. Asbestos is a mineral made up of long, flexible crystals of hydrated magnesium silicate. Most of the world's supply comes from the province of Quebec in eastern Canada. From naturally occurring deposits south of the St. Lawrence River, it is mined and separated from other rock by a series of so-called beneficiating operations. These include crushing and screening, classifying, fluffing, and drying. The asbestos fibers are held together by means of a phenolic resin, a thermal setting plastic material capable of polymerization of knitting together chemically when it is heated. Practically all of the other ingredients in a brake lining formulation are designed to stabilize the friction of the lining. Some of these chemicals perform their chores only at high temperatures. Others pick up a load when the lining gets wet. Through experience and testing, the chemist designs the compound to perform safely over a wide range of weather and operating conditions. In the factory, dry mix ingredients are weighed out and blended together in a cascade of specially designed conical mixers. The formulas are supervised by world bestest chemists, working in cooperation with company product engineers. Before each batch is released to production, a sample is taken to the control laboratory, where it is subjected to a variety of quality control tests.
In this room, raw materials are also analyzed to be certain that they conform to specifications. Only after the batch is approved by the control chemists is it released to production. To form the heterogeneous brake lining mixture into heavy duty brake blocks, a prescribed amount of the mix is weighed into a preform mold where it is pressed into a biscuit. Preform weights and press pressures are carefully controlled to assure proper density of the finished product. The preformed biscuit is placed into a curing mold where it is subjected to heat and pressure to form it into a block slab. The temperature and time of this pre-cure operation are governed by automatic controls, as is the periodic release of mold pressure to allow gases to escape. After molding, the block slab begins to look like brake lining. The cure is completed overnight in an automatic oven, where programmed controls automatically raise the heat to the required temperature in a series of prescribed gradual steps. The cured slab is trimmed and then is cut into individual brake blocks. inside and outside surfaces of the block are ground. Volume brake blocks are drilled and counterbored on highly accurate automatic drilling machines. Every finished block is visually inspected. One out of every 25 is checked for drilling pattern accuracy, as well as Gogan hardness, before the batch is released to bulk storage or to the warehouse. Quality passenger car brake lining begins much like brake block. Pre-weighed dry mixed ingredients are first preformed into a large board. The board is pre-cured in a hot press and then chilled in a cold press to set the resin with the board in a flat, true condition. The semi-cured board is cut into strips of the proper width. The strips are ground to the required thickness. Then they are cut to the flat length of the segment and after reheating are formed to the prescribed drum diameter. Final cure takes place against heated fixtures of controlled diameter or in automatic ovens. A final grind cleans up the friction surface before drilling, grooving, cam grinding, cementing, or other special operations.
components are stored partially finished for maximum inventory flexibility, while popular numbers are warehoused as sets for immediate shipment. Rolled lining is made by calendaring doughy pre-mixed liquid and solid ingredients on a rolling or tape machine. This material is cured and processed in rolls before being cut into segments, after which it is processed in a manner similar to dry mix lining. Some special kinds of lining are extruded through a steel die. While industrial friction materials are formed by a variety of methods. When World Bestus receives a customer order, the required information is coded and punched into data cards for processing in the company's electronic computer, RAMAC. Using its magnetic memory, RAMAC looks up necessary data on each item and prices, computes discounts, and prints out an acknowledgement of each order. Then it checks its memory disk for the inventory on each item ordered, allocates material for the order, adjusts the inventory figures in its memory, and delivers a set of cards that constitute action notices for each line item, so that the material will be withdrawn from the warehouse or assembled and packed for shipment as required. The system automatically orders more material from the factory if the stock is running below prescribed minimum levels. Packers are responsible for verifying that the lining selected is what the order calls for, that it is correctly labeled and is visually okay. When the material is ready for shipment, RAMAC prints the shipping papers and bills the customer. Friction materials which daily leave World Bestest Dock provide stopping power for virtually every brake application in the world, all over the world, from passenger cars to the earth movers that build new highways for them, from golf carts to go karts, brakes for elevators and industrial machinery brakes and clutches for forging and stamping presses. Applications ranging from lawnmowers to chainsaws. Brakes for city transit buses and highway cruisers as well. For construction and off the road equipment. For jeeps and military trucks. Brakes and clutches for mining equipment, the biggest power shovels in the world. And the hundred ton dump trucks that serve them. For logging trucks in the Canadian Rockies, tankers and bulk haulers in the Midwest, and tractor trailer rigs all over the continent. World Bestest makes brake lining. To support its friction material commitments, World Bestest maintains a technical staff that is continuously engaged in a customer-oriented product development program. Chase dynamometers precisely evaluate friction characteristics under conditions of high temperatures and controlled moisture input. The inertia dynamometer duplicates road conditions on an entire brake assembly and measures stopping power, heat buildup, and other factors on conventional drum brakes and modern disc brakes as well. This same equipment is used for research projects seeking the cause of brake noise.
and involving such special techniques as the use of high-speed motion picture cameras taking over 3,000 exposures per second, resulting in ultra-slow motion pictures such as these. Of paramount importance in its development program is World Bestus test car fleet. In these highly instrumented vehicles, brake linings for all types of cars are evaluated under actual road conditions using standard engineering test procedures as well as SAE specifications. Instruments record deceleration, hydraulic pressure, the temperature at each brake shoe, and the number of stops. Thus, permitting evaluation of stopping ability, high temperature fade, recovery, and overall performance. One of the special test locations available to World Bestus is the famous Indianapolis Motor Speedway site of the annual 500-mile racing classic. On this track, stops can be programmed under conditions of maximum speeds and accelerations, far in excess of any conditions ever encountered on the road. Another special testing location familiar to automotive engineers is the Jennerstown Road in the mountains of Pennsylvania. Here on a 30-mile test course laid out by Detroit brake specialists, a lining really proves its worth. Test procedures call for extended periods of brake dragging, programmed snubs, and periodic stops down grades longer and more severe than are found anywhere else in the country. Under these conditions, passenger car brake linings reach flash temperatures as high as 800 degrees. Only exceptional materials can survive this kind of punishment without undue fade. Stopping power, then, depends on brake lining quality. And brake lining quality depends on the technical skill and the integrity of the manufacturer. You can depend on both when you order World Bestest.